Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an online store. I'll go over how to add products, how to properly set up your store info, currency, shipping and tax, and I'll also show you how to set up curbside pickup so that users can order online and pay and pick up in store. The store I'm creating will only allow for local pickups and I'll show you how to set that up. Let's get started. So I've already signed up for a website.com account and I'm logged into the site builder right now. The first thing I'm going to do is click store and I'll click the button to make my online store. Now that I've added e-commerce capabilities to my website, it's time to add some products to sell on my online store. We'll click open store manager. And I'm going to click all products on the left right here. So you'll see that there are a lot of dummy products in the store already. And I'm going to leave them in the store so that you can see what the store looks like when there are products in it. But if you want to bulk delete all these dummy products, just click on the check marks on the left here. And then click delete right here. I'll just delete three products to show you what that looks like. Now I'll show you how to add a product to your store. So just click add new product in the top right. And we'll give this product a title. Next we'll add a description. And having a good description can encourage shoppers to be more willing to make a purchase, so make sure you include one. I'm also going to add this product to a collection. And a collection is a way to organize your products so that you can display them in your online store in different categories. Some examples of collections would be sale, winter accessories, pants, etc. So I'm going to create a new collection. And I'm going to call it Accessories. If you've made a collection previously that you want to add this product to, just use this search bar to search for it. So now I'm going to scroll down and give this product a price. And I'll also add an image. Images are some of the most powerful tools to help you sell a product, so make sure that your images look great. I've already uploaded my images to the file manager, but if you want to add your own, just click Upload File. Click Select Image, and feel free to add more images if you have different angles or different options. So I'll just scroll down, and I'm going to add some product options. I'll create the option Colors. And then the choices for this option will be White, Red, and Black. Just type a comma to create a new choice. You can specify any special settings for each choice, but I'm going to leave that blank. And now I'm going to save this product. And I'll hit Done. So you can go ahead and continue to add more products to your store just like that, but I'm going to go ahead and set up my store. So you can input your business name and the email that order confirmations will be sent to, and the contact info that visitors will see in the checkout and on their invoices. Just click update, but I'm going to leave it blank for now. You'll also need to set up the currency for your store. And I'm going to leave mine at USD. Once all of that is done, just click Save. So I'll go back to the store overview. And the next thing I'm going to update is payment. You can set up third-party payment services so that customers can pay you right through your online store. But I'm going to show you how to set up a custom payment option so that customers can place an order on your online store but pay in the physical storefront. So I'll add a custom payment method. And you can choose different custom payment methods right here by clicking on this drop down. But I'm going to keep it at pay in store. This is a great option if you have a storefront and want to set up a curbside pickup option so customers can quickly pick up and pay for their purchase at your store. 
After we set up the custom payment option, I'll show you how to set up the curbside pickup option for your store. So you can write instructions for your customers right here. And then I'll click Save. Now let's set up the pickup in store or curbside pickup option. So to do that, I'll go back to the store overview and we're gonna set up a shipping and tax rule. So you can click on it right here or click on it under store setup. Click add new rule in the top right. And I wanna set up a free local pickup option. So I'll choose the region that I want this shipping and tax rule to apply to. So just click Add Region. I'll choose United States and then click Done. And then out of the United States, I wanna choose the state that this applies to, so I'll click on it again. I'm going to deselect all regions and then I'll just choose California. So I'm gonna turn off the shipping option, which means from my online store, we will not offer shipping. And then I'll turn on the in-store pickup option. And now you can go ahead and add the title and instructions for this pickup option. I'll add another pickup option for another location. And then I'll scroll down and add the tax rules for this region. Because this store will only be available to shop from from California, I'm going to click Same Tax Rate for All Regions. And then I'll go ahead and click Save. And then click Done. So by default, there was a shipping and tax rule that was set for the rest of the world, but I'm gonna disable it so that my store is only available for local pickup. Just click on it and then click this check mark off. And then click save. So that's it. We've just created an online store to allow local pickups. Feel free to watch our next video to find out how to customize your store further and make it your own. Thanks for watching.